I'm super excited to be here. I have a whole plethora of loot to show you, which I'm sure is the reason why you are here right now, because you want to see the loot. Um, I just sat down to start filming this video and I didn't even realize that it has been a full month since my last video. So I definitely apologize for that. The holidays and everything just kind of got away from me. And here I am on New Year's Eve filming a video. Crazy. So I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's Eve. I know this year is super weird. So whatever you do, just know that next year will probably be better. Um, I do have cabbage out right now and she's already being a menace and eating paper that I have things wrapped in. So that's fun, even though she has her own paper in her own room, cabbage. So anyway, if you hear her munching on stuff, then I very much apologize because bunnies are, bunnies are bunnies. What can I say? All right. So, um, I have been thrifting, not like crazy. Um, you know me, I kind of pop into Goodwills here and there on my way home. Um, I will say that because I've been on vacation, I got to do a big thrift haul with a couple of my friends from school um, a couple days ago. And then today my husband and I went to the, the bins, the Goodwill outlet, and then one other thrift store on our way home. And then... We also went to my most favorite thrift store on our way home on the 26th, the day after Christmas. So on our way home from my parents' house, we got to stop um, and look for some treasure. So I, I have been to quite a few stores, so i um, pretty excited to show you the loot that I have collected over time. So, all right, without further ado, here we go. Um, okay, so... The first thing I think I'll show you is just a few things that I have picked up here and there from Goodwill. Um, the first thing is this little guy. I believe he is, he looks to be, to be Mayan, um, but he could possibly be maybe Incan. He doesn't look Aztec to me, but I guess I could definitely be wrong. Um, I've been wrong before, so you never know. Um, but I just thought he was really cute and just really different. Um, I believe he's a bookend, but I only have the one, so thus he becomes a statue and is not actually a bookend. Um, but anyway, I just thought he was really different and cool, so I was excited to pick him up. He's brass, um, and he was $5, but because I got him at Goodwill, I got that 20% off discount, so I don't know. He was cool. Had to, had to pick him up. Um, all right, then I got this lamp. It's kind of cool. Um, whenever I see these vintage, like 1950s, 60s desk lamps, I always pick them up. There's just something really, really fun about them. Um, this guy is, let's see, I'm not sure. He does still have a little bit of his tag, so he certainly is old. Um, this is all metal, metal, and then this is wood up here. So really cool, kind of moves like this. And the best part, in my opinion, I love these old buttons. So very cool. Um, I We have two in our office and then I've sold one. So I'll probably list this guy for sale and hopefully he will find a forever home as well. But look at that cord, like <laughs> definitely old, <laughs> definitely old. So let me definitely make sure I keep this out of the reach of cabbage because she does have a thing for cords. Oh my goodness, does she ever, especially when she's being feisty. Okay, um, then I picked up this little lusterware um, Nippon set. thought it was really cool. So they actually were selling it all together as a set. They had it wrapped up in saran, which is really nice. It kind of looks to me like a little tea set and then maybe possibly a little creamer. Um, but it's just so pretty. I love the bright colors and I love the floral painting and it's really, really nice. And it's in wonderful condition. Um, when I found it, it was super dirty, like crazy, crazy dirty. So I've washed it multiple times now and I'm still seeing since I'm in like really bright light that it could possibly use another scrub, but for the most part, it looks really, really good. Um, but one thing that's kind of exciting about it is the whole set was only $2.99. 
Um, it says hand painted in Japan on the bottom. And I think the reason why it was all such a good deal is because it was so grody and gross and just like looked really terrible. So that was exciting. It's kind of fun to rescue something um, that hasn't been loved in a long time and bring it back to its um, former glory and also get a good deal on it too. So that was fun. Um, that Goodwill is really fun because they're just constantly bringing stuff out. The rest of my Goodwills will have like, maybe they'll have one rack of things that they're bringing out. So if you're there for an hour or two, they might bring one rack out, but I don't know. These guys are just like, they want to get everything out of the stock room, which is, is really smart, honestly, from a retail perspective. So they were just bringing cart after cart of stuff out. And so at first I, was, I wasn't I was really finding every, anything. And then as they were bringing carts out, I was finding all kinds of stuff on like the new item carts. So then I was like, well, I can't leave now. So I just ended up staying like way longer than I ever intended because they kept bringing new stuff out. And you know how it is. Like you just, the fear of missing out is, is intense. So the first thing I actually found was buried under a bunch of like jackets um, and I don't know, like like book bags? I don't even know, but he was buried um, on one of the carts. So I was super excited to find him. Um, it's this big giant brass candle, uh, candle, <laughs> camel, um, but he's really, really neat. He has, it looks to me like the three wise men um kind of carved on the side of him and he has this pretty blue stone eye um and i like his big feet he's really really heavy like extremely heavy and just a really nice cool piece so very 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 excited to find him sometimes you just have to like find one good thing and then other stuff starts presenting itself to you. So I was super excited to find him first. He was $5, so not too bad. Um, and then, then I was able to find some other cool stuff as well. All right, so another thing I found at that thrift store when we were there is this little, um, I don't know if it's a, a creamer and a sugar, um, possibly, but it's kind of cool. It's just this little stoneware set. So I believe this is probably the sugar. It's probably missing its lid. Um, and then this is the little creamer, but they are handmade and they're really pretty. Uh, this would also be really cool to hold. I don't know. Like I, I think it would be really cool to hold silverware, um, or even as a cup, I don't know, but I just thought they were really cool. So I bought the set. Um, they were both, I think a dollar each or maybe a dollar 99. Um, not terrible, but pottery does pretty well for me. Um, and it, I just really enjoy it. So I always pick it up when I see it. Obviously if it's signed, it does a little better. And if it's dated, that's like ugh, the coup d'etat. That's the best. Um, okie dokie. Oh, I did pick up a couple of mugs because like you guys know, I needed more mugs. <laughs> I don't know. If you watch my mug collection video, then you were probably like really disturbed by the amount of mugs I have. And I don't blame you because it's bad. But I will say you can be very proud of me because all the mugs that I pulled out, I think it was like 50 mugs. It's a lot. Um, I put in like our Etsy room and I'm slowly but surely starting to list all of that stuff. So pretty excited about that. I've gotten like, I think at least 10 of them listed. So I'm doing good slowly but surely. So I did, I did buy some more mugs, <laughs> but they're so pretty. I just, I don't know. Um, the first one is this one. It's a stoneware handmade, um, mug. It's just pretty. I don't know. It has a little bit of a light luster. It's very subtle. Um, and I really liked it because this one was like the one I was super excited about. So I just kind of felt like they looked so good together that they had to, they had to stay together. They're friends, clearly. Um, this one's really cool. It's, it's from San Francisco. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I want to say it's like Takmashi maybe, but it still has a little sticker on the bottom that says made in Japan um, for San Francisco. 
and it's really cool. Oh, here you go. On the, it also says um, hand decorated Takahashi San Francisco. So it's this really beautiful glazed pottery mug. It's got like this really cool, it's very tactile. Um, the glaze is just kind of like all different. This is more matte, whereas this is more um, shiny and it's got, it's just really, I don't know, it's funky and weird and cool and I love it. But what, what's really fun about it is the lid. So it has this beautiful blue and white kind of iridescent lid that fits on the top. So this originally would have been used as an ashtray. Um, if, I don't know, like back in the day when people were smoking and <laughs> drinking coffee. But for me, um, I like it just because it keeps my coffee warm um, or or because, you know, I'm kind of a fat girl. Uh, um, I would put a cookie on it. That would be kind of fun, right? You have a cup of tea and your cookie. Perfect. But either way, I just thought it was really pretty. Um, it's in pretty much perfect condition. I feel like whoever owned it never used it. Um, so I had to get that. And then, of course, I had to get its friend because they look so good together. It's just how it how it goes, guys. Um, okay, then the next thing I got at Goodwill that day, um, I picked up a couple, um, one little piece of jewelry. I thought these were just really sweet. They're kind of might be a little hard to show you. Um, they're little cameo earrings, but they are new old stock. They're on their little cushion still, and they're just very, very delicate and simple. I wish it was showing up a little bit better, but what can you do? It's just a little lady and she's very delicate and pretty. So I'm excited about those. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell those or keep them, but either way, I just really thought they were neat and that they needed to come home with me. So they did. I think those were like a, I don't know. They do like a basic set price for earrings. So maybe $2.99. It's hard to tell guys. It's hard to tell. Um, okay. Then I was super excited to find this. I have like boxes all around me. I don't know. This is like the hall of boxes. Just get ready. Um, because I found this, it looks to me like, um, like the Italian, um, Florentine style. It's got the let me try not to okay so it has these beautiful flowers on the top that I am just I love them with the gold and the pink it's so pretty and delicate it lifts open like this and it has a nice mirror and it's really clean on the inside sometimes these old jewelry boxes can be gnarly so this one was really is really nice um okay the top comes off and then reveals like a bigger space down there which is good for like your bracelets and things and then at the bottom this is just a little drawer so um this needs a little bit of glue now that i remember but yeah oh where's cabbage i hear her eating something she shouldn't be eating Oof. okay so yeah is that so pretty i just thought it was beautiful so um, this was $4.99, which to me, I mean, that's like a great price. I don't know. I don't know who priced that, but this, this Goodwill is actually like one of the best, um, as far as prices go. So awesome. Um, oh, and then I got this little creamer. So this is very out of my comfort zone, which is funny because it's like pretty basic. And so I'm sure you guys are like, what are you talking about weirdo? Like but I don't usually pick up glassware. I just, I don't know. I don't know a lot about it. I don't collect it. Um, pretty much everything that I collect is like really over the top and obnoxious and just like extremely detailed. So glass tends to be like a little more simple and like, I'm not really like that. So I don't know. But anyway, long story, very long story short, short. Um, I thought this was beautiful. It is hand blown. Um, it still has the poncil mark. I believe that's what it's called. Um, on the bottom where you can see where it was attached. Um, you can tell that the little handle was kind of handmade and added on. And you can still see all the bubbles in the glass, which really is quite beautiful, honestly. Um, and then this, this top is really, really pretty too. Just kind of the way 
the waves in it is just really nice. So anyway, I this is not something I would normally get because a lot of the time glassware can be kind of expensive at thrift stores and I just don't know enough about it to take a chance on it. But this was $2.99 and I thought, I thought I need to rescue you. So we'll see. I'll throw it up on my Etsy and, and we'll find out if um, I did good or not. I don't know. But anyway, I'm proud of myself for kind of going out of my comfort zone, which is something I need to do. Oof, I really need a haircut. <sighs> okay. Um, then I got another little box, of course, always. Um, I just thought this was really cool. So um, it's Greek. What's actually pretty cool about it is it is a replica of um, like an ancient Greek painting. So it's pretty cool. It still has the price tag for where it was purchased in Greece. So I do think that it probably was a souvenir piece. Well, not probably, definitely was a souvenir piece. I'm not 100% sure though um, if it's like vintage souvenir or if it's modern, um, I really don't know. But anyway, I just thought it was cool. I loved the pattern on here. Um, it's just very well detailed. There's like a little description of it on the bottom. Um, it's based on art from 640 BC. So that's pretty awesome. And I mean, the art is so cool. So it looks, I don't, I don't know, like it just looks really cool. It's kind of has like a little lion and then maybe like an antelope or a gazelle. I'm not 100% sure, but either way, it's super cool. So I had to get that. Um, I'm not 100% sure how much I paid for this. I wanna say that it was like $5. I don't think this was like one of the dirt cheap pieces, but I could be wrong. Um, I took the price off of that, so uh, I don't know. Um, okay, so, oh, and one more little piece of jewelry forgot to show you. This is really cute too. Um, how cute is this? It's a little vintage 60s, 70s um, little daisy pin. So I really, really love it. Um, I love the little orange. I haven't seen the orange with the white polka dots before. So I thought that was cool. I collect these vintage little pins and I put them on pillows. So um, I thought this was super cute. So that'll be staying with me, of course, you know. Oh, one more thing. I actually got a lot of stuff at this Goodwill. Okay, um, I got this. So I wasn't 100% sure about this. This was like maybe a little bit of a risk because it's pretty heavy, but I just thought it was cool. So I was like, whatever. Oh, and um, Goodwill was actually doing 50% off everything this day. Now I remember. So yeah, I found a lot of good stuff and I got a really good deal. So that was exciting. Um, I remember now because this was $10 and I wouldn't have normally grabbed it, but because it was half off, it was only five bucks. So I was like, okay, I'll take a risk on it. But anyway, it's really cool. Um, it is a souvenir piece from the Philippines, but I love the carving on it. So I just thought this tree was so beautiful. Um, and it's kind of like got this little oxen and a little house and just all the things. Um, it's solid wood. It's super heavy. So it is going to be expensive to ship, um, but it does have the little string on the back. So it is all ready to be hung. Um, and it's just cool. I don't know. It's just cool. This is definitely vintage. It's got some dust on it and I don't know. I'm excited about it. It's like very, very boho. So that's cool. Um, okay, how am I doing? Oh, and then I found a lamp. Um, this guy is really fun. So whenever I can find these 50s, 60s little vintage lamps, I always pick them up. We have a couple in our home that we actually use in our office. And then I've sold one and I'm probably going to sell this guy, but I just love the shape. It's very atomic. And I loved the, I love the wood on here as well. I just thought this was cool. And this is all metal, which is really, really cool. Hi guys, sorry, I had to take a brief intermission and go and grab someone who was being super, super loud and digging. Hmm? Yeah, and trying to eat the door. So this is Cabbage. Um, she's a Flemish giant, but technically um, I think she's probably half Flemish, half New Zealand, because she's not um, really quite as big as a true Flemish. 
she's 11 pounds though so she's not small um she's very very lovey but tonight i think she's just really stressed out because there's a lot of fireworks going on um and she doesn't really like the loud noise and also when i film i'm kind of loud so i don't know she's very stressed out but i thought you guys would like to see her because i had to grab her um because she is going crazy just digging on everything and being very loud and i'm sure you could hear her in the background so i just wanted to grab her and see what was up <sighs> bunnies right bunnies <sighs> okay so i'm gonna put her down and get back to the joke okay sorry for the bunny intermission there guys she just is getting so upset i think probably from the fireworks it's only seven o'clock here and there's already so many and i can just imagine how bad it's gonna get so I'm worried about her. She's big, but she gets really scared. Um, okay, so I was just kind of showing you this awesome lamp. Really cool. I love the... Right? Um, and definitely you can tell by this cord that it is pretty old. I would say probably 50s, um, maybe 60s, but really neat. Um, so this will go on Etsy, and I am super excited about this. I'm not 100% sure how much I paid for this. I want to say like five bucks probably. All right, cool. All righty. Um, so hard to know what to grab next. Like I literally look around me and I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> when my husband and I went thrifting today, we grabbed a few things at a local thrift store um, on our way home from the bins. We did get some good stuff at the bins. Um, I'll show you a few things. Some of it's kind of junk, you know, how it, how it can be. Um, but we did find some cool stuff. So I'll show you what I, what I am excited about. Um, okay. All right, sorry guys, I have a big table and trying to grab everything is a challenge. Okay, um, so I actually found this frosted glass, which I'm pretty excited about because first of all, it's, it's pretty, it's really cool. But also on top of just that fact, the fact that it's not chipped or broken, it just astonishes me. Whenever I find anything at the bins that's like not decimated, I'm just really shocked <laughs> because everything just gets thrown in. And you know how it goes. If you've ever been to the Goodwill outlet and they bring out the new stuff and then they're like, okay, go. And then everyone just like runs at stuff. It's crazy. Um, so whenever there's things that haven't met their demise, I am truly, truly shocked. So um, it was actually kind of cool. They had a couple of big giant cardboard boxes like thrown in the bin that were still taped up. So I think literally what someone did is like go through like their own like garage or their everything was like really nicely taped too and like packaged and wrapped in paper. So it must have been inside because it wasn't like gross like from a garage. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I literally had to like un tape the box and then go through all the stuff inside that was all wrapped in brown paper so you couldn't really see what was what but it was fun anyway to kind of see what I could find um I didn't find too much cool stuff you know how it goes but I did find this which is really cool and I did find this um so it's this is really I just thought this was so pretty this frosted glass I love the butterfly on it too um, so it's in really great condition. It's really not scratched at all. It has a very subtle gold rim at the top. Um, and I don't know, it's just really pretty. So I'm not sure if I should sell these two together as a set. They're not exactly alike, but they are similar. So if you have any suggestions, if you think I should sell them together or separately, let me know. Um, cause I'm not hundred percent sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, then we got a bunch of linens from the Goodwill outlet, as one tends to do. Um, let's see if I can grab it. Okay. All right, so I'm not really sure if this is something that you guys will find interesting, um, but I 
figured might as well show you some of the cool linens that I got. Um, the first thing I found um, were a set of these old napkins. So I thought these were really cool. They're handmade, um, hand embroidered. So I think I have three or four of these. I'm not 100% sure, but they really kind of look like they've never been used. I I feel like they've never been used because they're linen. So when you wash linen, it gets really soft and it kind of loses this like perfect, unless it was like perfectly ironed, which is also popular. I mean, um, possible because <sighs> housewives back in the, in the day were really, really good at stuff like that. <laughs> um, I picked up another, a couple little hankies. Um, this one needs a soak. It's got some makeup on it, but I thought it was really funny. It has like all these math problems all around it. So I just thought that was pretty charming. So I grabbed that. Um, I'll need to soak that. And then I grabbed this really pretty one that is in perfect condition, um, has never been used, still has the little sticker on it. Um, and it's from Paris. Um, I mean, it's probably not actually from Paris, but it does say um, Paris. So just really pretty. I don't know. I like hankies. I don't use them because I that would require a lot of planning on my part, but I do think they're really pretty. So whenever I find them, especially at the um, like outlet where it's basically free, um, I pick them up. So then I got this little runner. It's pretty small but it does have really nice embroidery on it. So had to save that. You know how it is. Um, have to rescue all the pretty embroidery. Um, then I got this one. This is a larger runner, um, but also kind of has a really pretty cross stitch on it. So I rescued that. I still have like all the, the linens that I got the last time I was at the bins. I don't think I've listed any of them because linens are sort of hard to list for me. I don't know, but good thing I got a whole lot more. <laughs> um, and then this one is just another little cross stitch um, table runner. These are really, really nice on bedside tables also because they protect the bedside table and they're just like really kind of sweet and feminine and soft and just like, they just add a little bit. So I tend to use them, the ones that I have kept um, for that. I put them on bedside tables. <sighs> Our dining room table is much too big, so it wouldn't really make any sense. Um, then I found this weird, actually my husband found it, um, this really funny vintage apron. So it's made in England, but mostly I just loved this fish pocket. Like how silly is that? It's kind of like a tartan plaid with this awesome fish. So I don't know if it's made for a guy, but it's not super big. So I feel like usually men's stuff is made a little bigger because this to me feels, I don't know. What do I know? I don't know. But anyway, um, it's super cute, so I'll put that on my Etsy and see. I have sold one apron, but I have one up that has been up for a while, so we'll see. Um, then I just picked up this little scarf. It has shells on it, and it's not like anything super crazy, but it does. it is made out of 100% silk, so I just thought, hmm, why not? Um... And then the last um, little linen that my husband found that's definitely the the crudita, the one I, crudita? I don't know. The one that I uh, wanted to save for last is this. Look at how pretty. So it has little bluebirds and a little basket. Um, it has bluebirds on both sides with different flowers. And then look at, it's just so pretty. I love the little, look at that. It's just so cute. I don't know. So um, I probably will list this on um, Etsy because I don't really have like a huge 
amount of like, what am I going to do with this really? But anyhow, I just thought it was so pretty and charming. So I was super excited that he found that because that was a really good find. Um, cool. We also found some glasses um, from like the 1990, from I think what, 96 from the Atlanta Olympics, maybe. Um, so I got those, um, they're not super exciting. And I also found these agate coasters, which are kind of cool because they're still in the box. They're not vintage, um, but I still thought that was kind of like a cool find for the bins because, you know, the bins are pretty much everything's basically free. Um, and then I got these little cards. They're definitely old, have been through, been through it for sure. But I just thought they were really, really charming. They're these little um, Japanese, but they say by Chang Shu Chi Studio, Oakland, California, um, USA. So they're just these really pretty little cards, um, very vintage. And then they have the matching little envelopes. So I was excited to, to find that. Um, the box is definitely a little worse for wear, but I don't care. I love old paper ephemera, so I'll use those. I just thought those were super cute. Um, oh, and then the one of the coolest things that we actually found at the bins is this necklace. So this necklace is sterling silver. It's marked um, 925 right here and it's like a collar kind of choker necklace so this i could only imagine how much this would hurt if i were to try to wear this um yeah no but hey it's super cool and very like simple and elegant and i don't know so anyway i was super excited to find this because it's sterling um what's actually funny about it is there were these really two cute grannies that were next to me and they were um almost everyone at the bins is a reseller but every once in a while there's like a few little like kind of grannies that go just to see if they can find a few things here and there for themselves so it was these two little grannies they had a little cart with just a couple of things that they were pulling out of the nonsense you know that's always how you can tell someone's not a reseller too because all the resellers have like 50 million things in like the hugest cart and all the people that are there just for themselves only get like a few things because you know there's not that much stuff that you personally would probably want to keep but there is a lot of stuff that could find another home um because it is a really good deal anyway i am totally rambling as usual so they pulled this necklace just like out of one of the bins which is crazy because our bins are huge and deep and like just full of trash <laughs> so um one of them pulled this out and was like oh this is a necklace and then her friend was like oh okay like didn't really care and I wasn't really paying any attention to it I just was like oh yeah like they found a necklace whatever I was doing my own thing my husband and I went to go check out and they had like random stuff on the counter that people had put back and I was like oh did they not want this and the lady at the register is like no um they put it back the old grannies had already left so don't feel like I was taking from stealing from them because I wasn't um but anyway she was like Oh, that looks like that could be silver and I just kind of was looking at it and it literally is marked 925 what do you know right there so I was shocked that they didn't take it just for the fact that it's sterling um, but whatever it's really cool and I'm kind of glad that they didn't want it because now I found it and it just kind of goes to show like you never know what you're gonna find at the bins like sterling silver necklace at the Goodwill outlet crazy um but anyway that was that was a cool find so we spent a couple hours there and really only found a few things so definitely having grabbing that was like made it all worth it okay um so now we'll start showing you some of the stuff um from the other day oh no actually so my husband and I stopped at a thrift store on our way home from the bins and we picked up a couple of things so I will show you that now hopefully I have shown everything I always every video forget to show something like always without fail and then I'm like sad 
Okay. I picked up, the first thing I picked up was these little cats. Um, so I have had a few of these over the years. I have had one that I sent to my best friend. I think I've sold one. And then now this is the third one that has come into my possession. Um, but hooks sell really well because you can literally stick them anywhere and they're super useful. And it's kind of like a fun way to add a little bit of like kitsch to your home without, you know, going too over the top. Um, and then cats obviously are always like such a thing. So I only paid like a dollar fifty for this because they were doing a big sale. So I was super excited about that because that is going to do quite well in our shop, hopefully. Um, then I found this cool tin um, and I don't know, I just thought it was really neat. So it has this really awesome um, Indian scene and I love loved the kind of like the graphic on it. So it says Thomas J. Lipton, Hoboken, New Jersey, um, Orange Pico and Pico Tea, um, contents one pound. So pretty cool. Look at the top. Look at that. Oh, right. And then the bottom, look, the bottom just is so cool. It says Lipton's tea, um, the most delicious the world produces. So definitely this guy has some age to it. I thought it was really cool. They, as you can tell, originally had it marked for $8, which is probably what it's worth. Um, but luckily they were doing a sale. So I got it for four or five or something like that. So totally worth it. I love to use, um, vintage tins in my own home just for storage. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this because I kind of want to keep it. I just think it's so cool, but I should probably sell it, but I don't know. We have, I have still, I've been trying really hard to list um, on Etsy, but the holidays are hard and luckily I'm very, very thankful we got cleared out. A lot of stuff sold, so um, I definitely need to start adding more stuff to our shop, but it's it's been a long hard road guys like I don't know I'm so slow a listing um and then the last thing I found or not the last thing I found two other things I have to laugh I spent ten dollars at the Goodwill outlet and then um on like a ton of stuff and then um when we stopped at the other thrift store on the way home I spent fifty dollars on like five things I'm like oh my goodness I'm so, I was doing so good I was so proud of myself and then just went all downhill from there but that's okay because I got totally cool stuff that's definitely worth it um then I found these awesome um like blue heron aren't they so cool uh bookends so they're definitely a little worse for wear you can kind of see that they're starting to oxidize a little bit and corrode on the bottom and they have some pretty intense pitting um on the brass on the top but I don't care I just think they're so rad like so so rad um they are vintage so that is fun and they were four dollars for the set and then I got like a couple dollars off of them on top of that so I was like what like so good so I mean I couldn't leave them behind they were just so cool um and they're really pretty so I like selling bookends they do pretty well um sometimes they sit in our shop for a while but inevitably almost all of our bookends that we've listed have moved so whenever I find cool bookends I always try to to nab them because it's worth it um so I honestly did really well and got all of that stuff for like a pretty good price the reason why my overall bill got marked up is because I did pick up this Dooney bag so I'm still pretty excited about it because I it is becoming harder and harder to find vintage Dooney out in the wild um, and I live in an area with a lot of old people so like I feel like I live in the prime place to find vintage Dooney but I don't know I'm just I'm not finding quite as many as I used to so this was expensive they had it marked as $45 but luckily they were doing 20% um, off on purses so it was came to 36 so I felt like for 36 like that's obviously a little more than I would love to spend but I felt like it wasn't terrible um, so I was pretty excited to just to nab this guy um, I love the 
look of vintage Doonies. I love the hardware and everything, um, the little feet on the bottom, and they're just so well made. They're just so classic and well made. Um, this is the first black one I think I've ever found. I have a lot of green um, and uh, green and cream I have sold and I've even had maroon. I've had two maroon, but yeah, never, I don't think I've ever had any black. So this is pretty cool. I'll probably honestly keep this for me for a little while and then maybe list another one of mine um, on Etsy. I don't know, I don't know, but I thought it was pretty. So I splurged a little bit, but it was worth it because I love Doonies. Um, vintage Dooney and vintage coach are always kind of like just worth it in my opinion. Okay, um, so then I have a few things to show you from my thrift trip with um, my friends this, what, last couple days. Um, we were gone all day. We went to like a lot of stores, maybe like five or six. I don't know, but it was fun. We, we were, it was a long day, but it was totally worth it. Um, so the first thing I found is this handmade pottery mug. So I just thought this guy was hilarious. Um, I really liked his face. These vintage like handmade face pottery mugs usually um, do pretty well because they're just so unique and funny. So I just thought he was cool. He's just really different. Um, so I figured somebody would like him. And he's, I don't know, anything that's like really different just is exciting to me. So I did buy that for our shop. Um, and then I also found this beer stein that I kind of want to keep. Um, so I just thought it was really cool. As you guys might remember about me is I love vintage Thunderbirds and I collect um, Thunderbird pins, like the Native American ones. So um, this is the Thunderbird Inn. So I thought that was super cool um, from Plymouth, Michigan. And randomly it says the Polish boys place. So there's just something super weird and odd about this mug and I just love it. It's like super mid-century and just like strangely problematic, but also awesome. And I don't know, I just really, really like it. Um, it's by Buntingware on the bottom, and I don't know, I'm just super excited about it. So it does have some crazing, but luckily this crazing is below where the actual um, stein starts. It doesn't actually hold that much beer, which is funny. I think they probably did that on purpose. Um, this was probably like a promotional piece at the actual at the actual hotel so they didn't want to give you like a whole big thing of beer so they kind of made it where you know as you can see like two inches of it at the bottom aren't even showing but whatever I don't know I'm just rambling but anyway I just thought it was like funny I don't know I just thought it was really cool so um I'll have to do some research and see if the Thunderbird Inn still exists but I'm gonna put my money on no it surely probably does not still exist yikes um oh then I found this mug. This is actually from the Goodwill bins from today. It was kind of pushed in the back, so I didn't get to show you. Um, but my husband is an Aquarius, so I was super excited to find this. But honestly, I'll probably list it because, as you guys know, I have way too many mugs. But it's made in England, so it is like a really cool um, vintage mug. And usually, um, usually Zodiac stuff does pretty well. So... I'm hoping that somebody will see that and think it's really cool and then want it. Ugh. All right. Oh, so um, this guy was a dollar and this guy was 75 cents. So really can't go wrong. Um, then I found this little painting. I just thought it was really charming and I liked how it was framed so nicely in this little gold frame um, under glass. So it is by Lois Reynolds um, and she has titled it Thorn Apples and it is dated 1973. So it's just this really sweet little, um, kind of looks like possibly a watercolor um, with little bumblebees and I don't know, I just loved it. Anytime I find like a, a, a subtle little piece of handmade art, 
I'm always interested. And then when it's signed and dated, like, forget about it. I can't leave it behind. But what's cool is it was only $3. So I was super excited about that as well, because I think that will definitely find a forever home. And it's such a nice size. Like, I hate when I find, I don't hate, but like, it's so hard when you find big giant art because that's expensive to ship and someone has to really love it to want it to like take up a big prominent space in their home. So it's kind of more fun to have like little pieces like this because you could literally just throw this anywhere and it would look nice. So I don't know. I was really excited about it. Um, okay. All right, then I've actually got this cool bag um, it is all leather, but it's like a basket tote. Um, and it says Costa Rica on the front of it, but it's definitely like a vintage piece. It's very heavy, um, and just like really cool. So I am was really excited to find this. I think that someone's going to love this because I mean, baskets are so cool anyway. And then, and then now it's like made out of leather. Like it's just neat. Um, so this was $8, yeah, like $7.95. So I was pretty excited about that. When I saw seven, a seven and a nine, I was like, please don't be $79, please don't be. But luckily it wasn't, it was only $7. So that was awesome. Um, and I was super excited to grab that. Okay. Um, Then I grabbed, um, I don't know if this is like really something that anyone cares about, but I thought they were kind of cool. I grabbed these vintage brackets. Um, I thought they were neat because they look like, kind of like trees. So I'm gonna use them in our office to hold up a shelf. Um, and they are vintage, they are stamped Japan. Um, and I just thought they were really unique. So I was super stoked to grab those. So I got those guys. Um, All right, and then I got this little vintage, I don't know, it's kind of like a pie dish really to me, um, but I thought it was cool. It's ovenware and it's made in the US. So just kind of like a rustic piece of kitchenware, but I just thought it was pretty. Um, I liked the glaze on it and just kind of how substantial it was. It was only $1.99, so I figured even though it's not really like worth a whole lot, it's kind of a cool piece to acquire. So I grabbed that. Um, I thought that was cool. Oh, then I actually ordered this for myself um, on eBay, but I just figured I would show you since I'm kind of showing my other stuff. I just thought this was really cool. So you guys probably know that we're working on um, <sighs> renovating upstairs. So that's been like terrible. But anyway, that is going to be our guest room and then our office. And there's a um, full bath up there as well. It's kind of like a loft really, but I don't know, it's cool. I like it. But anyway, I got this little print because I just thought it was so sweet for the guest room. Um, it says, welcome guest, we wish you in this quiet room sweet rest. If dreams come, may they pleasant be, dear guest. When you awake, then may the sunshine clear, greet you and tell how glad we are to have you here. Um, and it's a house of art, New York um, little print. And I just thought it was really charming. So I'm kind of excited to hang this up. Um, I'm gonna keep this until we are like 100% done with that upstairs um, area and then have that be like one of the first things that I put in because we really, really, really do wanna be able to like have friends come and stay. Um, a lot of our friends live far away where it would be really nice if they could come and stay. So getting that upstairs done is like, We've been working really hard, so hopefully it'll get done sooner than later. Okay. So now is the portion of the video where I have to show you all the big stuff, which is awesome because I'm super excited about all the big stuff, but also not awesome because all the big stuff is heavy and obnoxious to try to show you. But that is okay because I always try to save my favorite stuff for last, so here we go. Such is, such is true of today. Um, okay, 
I have two things to show you that I'm super excited about from when I went thrifting with my friends, um, but they are both far away. So I'm going to probably wait a minute to show you those things and show you the things that are close up first. Um, so I told you that my husband and I went to my absolute favorite thrift store um, on the day after Christmas. I thought I was being like real sly by going on the 26th because I figured no one would be there, but I was very wrong. It was crazy in there. <sighs> but that's okay um, because I still found some really cool stuff even though I saw some people around me with some cool stuff in their cart so I was like oh no but luckily that place is just crazy they always have awesome stuff so I was super excited to find some fun pieces um, probably one of my favorite things that we got there are um, a, this set of Brutalist um, candlesticks from Israel they're just super mid-century and just have the most beautiful colors and brass. Uh, they say Israel on the bottom and they are just really heavy and really cool. So uh, they were $6 each, but then were they half off? No, they weren't. So just $6 each, but worth it. I think I might want to, I might be keeping these for a minute before I sell them. I don't know. I really like them, you guys. Um, then I grabbed this cool owl. So I thought he was really fun. He's like just kind of a hand carved owl. He was $10, but I'm pretty sure he was half price. Maybe not. I don't know. You guys know. I know. I have no idea. <laughs> um, but I just thought he was cool. I do have a couple other um, carved owls. So I grab, I pulled down my other carved owl so I could show you um, the other ones I have. So I have him, um, he's super cool. And then I also have this guy. This guy's probably my favorite cause he's like the oldest and the most rustic. Um, but yeah, this little guy. So these three now I've started as it appears a collection of carved wooden owls. So. I guess whenever I find like a big carved wooden owl, they're gonna have to come home with me, but I don't know. I just like, they're so cool. Look at this guy. He's so cool, I love him. Um, so I don't know. I might sell this guy, but he does look nice with my other two, so. What to do, what to do, I don't know. Um, oh, then I grabbed this canister. Unfortunately, they only had one, but that's okay. Um, it's left in and this was on sale for $10. I think it was 20 and so it was on sale for 10. Um, yeah, it was $19.99 on sale for 10 and it's just really cute. It's the, it's left version of the mushroom. So kind of similar to, um, the Sears Mary mushroom, but I kind of like it better. I don't know. I feel like they did, they like put more effort and detail into it than, um, the Sears ones, but I know the Sears ones are like cult favorites, so I love those too. But anyway, I just thought this was really cool. I have a lot of mushroom canisters actually that I need to list. I went through like a whole 70s obsessed with like kitschy 70s mushrooms and owls and all of that phase. And I still really like it, but like not to the same obsessive level that I was at back in the day. So I'm like, okay. <sighs> time to let some of that go so um I have been slowly but surely listing some of my Sears collection and then this guy will also go um in the shop on Etsy but I just couldn't leave it I don't know it was so cool so sometimes that's just how it goes you just can't leave it behind um oh then I found this beautiful Indian box um some room over here so I just loved the detail on it um, the painting is stunning the whole thing is painted so it's just really really cool it has um, a price tag from India on the bottom so that's neat but anyway I just thought it was really cool that it opens like this um, 
So obviously I had to get this. This was $20, so I was, I did struggle about whether or not I should get it, but I did end up deciding that it was too cool to leave behind. Um, so it came home with me. This is like another one of those things that I kind of don't want to sell, but I might, I might sell, I don't know. I'll probably list it and then get to enjoy it for a while until it finds its forever home. Hopefully, I'm hoping that's what will happen. Um, okay. All right, so now I have three really big things to show you. So, give me a moment. <laughs> Okay, I grabbed all of the giant heavy stuff. So, wah, the first thing is probably the largest, so I figured, and the heaviest. Oh my goodness gracious. So, um, I don't think this is something I could, like, I guess it, I guess I could sell it, but, oh my goodness, but it will be a challenge <laughs> um, because it just weighs a million pounds. I don't think it's super breakable because it's wood and metal so yeah but it would just be a fortune to ship it but i just thought it was so cool um i loved all the drawers on it i just thought that was like so fun so if i put it here you can kind of see that each of the little drawers opens like this, and they're red on the inside. And they're just really cool. So this is probably something that maybe I'll put on Facebook Marketplace, um, or I'll, I'm honestly really wanting to keep it for myself, so maybe I'll just keep it. I don't, I don't know. But it was only $14, which I felt like was a really good price, considering it's like humongous, and um really like unique and original it's also from india um i don't think it's vintage but oh my gosh Whew. i keep almost hitting this next giant item to the ground and it's like really luckily hasn't come crashing down yet okay so then the next thing is um this beautiful tray so this was like the best <sighs> sometimes like things are just meant to be so I went with my friends thrifting, like I was saying, and we went to um, a local restore and they were doing 30% off everything, like in the entire store. And then on top of that, their prices were like great. So I was so excited. Um, Cause this was only $14 and then 30% um, off that. So like totally worth it. But what's so cool about it is first of all, it's humongous. I mean, that is amazing. Oh my goodness but also it's just so detailed like you guys see I just thought it was so beautiful um, it has a hook on the back so that you can hang it but it would also be really great as like a tabletop or even just like to go on a bar like on a bar cart and just put all of your like bar stuff on it. I don't know. Um, I just love it. I just thought it was so cool. So very exciting about, very excited to find that. And then not only that, but I found a awesome lamp and you guys probably know that I love lamps. Um, and this one, oof, I was like singing when I found this lamp. I was so excited. So this lamp was $10 and then 30% um, off. So it's just so beautiful. Um, it's all raised um, and it has these amazing hand painted people on it. It goes all the way around. The bottom is wood. The top is brass. And it's just stunning. Look at the cord. So, yeah. Ooh. So, I honestly think it's probably like 1930s. Um, 
maybe the 20s but oh my gosh you guys like this I just love it so much I can't even explain how much I love it I just think it's so beautiful so really 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 excited to find that um 10 bucks and 30 percent off so like seven bucks for this lamp like are you kidding me are you kidding me so good so 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 good all right, well, so that is my giant haul again. I hope that you enjoyed it. Cabbage is standing on the brass tray. She was being really good until she, until right this minute. So it must be time for me to let you go. All right, guys, well, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that it's another long one, but what can I do? I'm slow. Um, I hope you have a wonderful New Year's Eve. When you're watching this, it'll be after New Year's Eve. So hopefully everything went okay. Um, and I hope that you have a wonderful 2021 and I will see you next year. Crazy.